Across these installations, our average scop is for heat pumps to be financially viable for most people, they'll have to be at least as cheap as a gas boiler, if not cheaper. And as the electricity that heat pumps use is around about three and a half times more expensive than burning gas, heat pumps are gonna have to be around about 350% efficient. However, if you have a look at how well heat pumps perform online, you may not be that convinced at all of how well they can perform based on current studies. One study by the Energy Savings Trust in 2010 on heat pump performance showed that mid-range of heat pump performances was a scop of 2.4, that's 240% efficient. And a later 2017 report of heat pump performance in the RHPP scheme showed an average efficiency of 2.6. And a more recent study in 2023 from Energy Systems Catapult studied 742 heat pump installations and showed an average efficiency or SCOP of 2.8 or 280% efficiency. So that's a slight improvement over 13 years and maybe that was due to the very small technical advantages over that time, maybe a small bit of training, but but most importantly, all three of these studies made the same biggest mistake, despite all agreeing from that study that this mistake that they missed is the biggest variable in heat pump installations altogether. The main variable for heat pump performance is installer training, and we can now prove it. Judging a heat pump by not controlling this huge variable is a little bit like judging a Jamie Oliver recipe by letting me cook it. Trust me, you ain't gonna wanna eat that. And very, very importantly, none of this training is practical in any way. And what I mean is, heating engineers have been using spanners and connecting pipes together for decades. All basic plumbers already have that skill. All this training is theory. Well, all of this just sounds far too good to be true, right? Well, this isn't yet more theory. We can prove it. Over the last year, we have installed and measured 107 heat pumps, all installed by engineers from our online heating training mastery program. And importantly, the majority of these installers hadn't previously touched a heat pump before this installation. So we've removed all the variables. And here are the results. Across these installations, our average SCOP is 4.15. That's 415% efficient. So a few pieces of extra information to give that some more context. MCS's minimum design at SCOP is 2.8, which was our average efficiency nationally, according to the studies. Our predicted SCOP for these installations was 3.87. So according to the manufacturer's badge data, we should have been achieving 3.87 SCOP. Instead, we got 415. Now that's nearly 10% more efficient than we proposed the system would be to the customer. Now to break that down even further, the average SCOP for our Heat Geek Elite or our top, top tier installers, which are more involved in the peer-to-peer -peer education, is 4.49, which is nearly 20% more efficient than we told the customer their system would be. Now, it's also worth bearing in mind these numbers don't include hot water, which is typically seen as uh, less efficient, so it brings down the average efficiency. Here's our efficiency numbers, including hot water. The average SCOP, including hot water, was 4.02. Still more than the projected SCOP, even though the projected SCOP doesn't include hot water. One extra point on hot water, hot water's about to change quite a lot. We figured out some stuff uh, with my hot water tank in my home, and I think we're gonna be getting SCOPs of around four to five with our hot water too. It's just that they haven't historically been installed very well in and across the whole industry. Video out on that soon of exactly how I do it. That information's free for all. It's already out there though, in the course that we sell in Heating Mastery. So to put that in some real terms, if you were unlucky enough to get the national average SCOP of 2.8 and paying, say for example, 2,000 pounds a year on heating, with a SCOP of 4.25 from one of our heat geeks, you would be paying 1,320 pounds a year. That's 680 pounds saving, or a third off your heating bill. Also, please take a look at this data here. Here we've plotted the SCOP uh, performance estimates and the actual SCOPs over age of property. Typically, it's understood that heat pumps only work in new build houses. Well, quite clearly here, you can see that's not true at all. 
main variable is how well the installer's trained and it's all stuff that can be learned online. And please remember, for these heat geeks, for most of them, it's their very first heat pump install. All these averages are likely to climb still. All of this data was collected using the Valen inbuilt monitoring kit. As we collect more and more of it, we will be making this more available to you all. We also monitor a lot of our installations with third party monitoring kit. You can see mine as well as of quite a few of our heat geeks on heatpumpmonitor.com. So in conclusion, heat pump performance, it's not down to how well insulated the property is or whether it has underfloor heating or how much experience the heat pump installer has or whether they're MCS registered. The other thing that should be understood here is that this knowledge needs to be in the installer that's installing the system, not someone sitting in an office 20 miles away from the heat pump installation. It needs to be in the mind of the guy connecting the pipe work up. We train these guys and you can find them on our map or through our portal. And finally, that it's very possible to perhaps standardize getting 20% over your projected scop. So watch very closely because we're only just getting started here and everything we learn and as we improve is all going to get shared on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions and we'll see you on the next one.